U.S. President Donald Trump has announced $13 billion in aid to farmers. He spoke at a rally in the swing state of Wisconsin. He won the state with less than one percentage point of the vote back in 2016. But polls show he's now trailing Joe Biden. And William Denslow has the latest. President Trump was here at the central Wisconsin airport back in 2018 ahead of the midterm elections. He's back addressing her supporters, this time with him on the ballot. Now, he had a very strong message to Joe Biden, describing him as grossly incompetent. Now, speaking to his supporters here in central Wisconsin, he also reaffirmed his strong commitment to, to being tough on law and order. This, of course, coming after the shooting of Jacob Blake in the Wisconsin city of Kenosha. Now, the president also very much concentrated a lot of his address at the farming community. He's pledged that next week he'll be unveiling a further $13 billion when it comes to the COVID-19 financial relief for U.S. farmers. He also singled out two sectors that are huge here in Wisconsin, cranberry growers as well as ginseng growers. Now, both those sectors hit incredibly hard uh, by the trade war and by tariffs over recent years. Now, some ginseng growers we've spoken to here in the state say that uh, they have seen prices fall as much as 50% in 2019 compared to 2017. Now, according to a recent Marquette poll, it suggests that Joe Biden is leading President Trump in the state of Wisconsin, but does trail him in rural parts of the state. So this is seen as an absolutely key demographic for the president uh, to win if he seeks to win Wisconsin, of course, a crucial swing state in the US, as he seeks to win it yet again in November's election. William Denslow, CNA, Wisconsin. In the Democrats' camp, Joe Biden has lashed out at President Trump over what he called his close to criminal handling of the pandemic. Fielding questions from voters in Pennsylvania, he accused his rival of knowing the seriousness of the coronavirus threat early this year and hiding it from the nation. And it made clear to me that people are really still very concerned about COVID and about the whole idea of how we're going to get through it, what has to be done, and about school openings or not opening. They're all, they're all virtual right now. And I also think that uh, they... Uh, you know, coming home was like reminding me how how people just want to have be treated with respect, with some decency, about how they really resent people kind of looking down on them.